Hey everyone, Tragic the Garnering back again with another lot of random Magic the Gathering cards from my favorite source, The Goodwill. Uh, this one actually comes from the Goodwill of Seattle via eBay. Um, they do actually sell on eBay and on shopgoodwill.com and I bought from them from both sources in the past. If you go back to my first few videos, they're kind of rough to watch because they're not edited, but it's uh, my first two boxes were from Seattle and uh, did pretty good on those. Um, so I'm going to get back into those and see if I uh, can still do okay. I'm kind of testing a theory that they may actually be on to us and um, potentially they are, I kind of feel like, kind of showing off some good stuff on the top and maybe they maybe they pick through for a certain dollar amounts that are easy grabs if they can I'm not sure so I've actually got a backlog of uh, about six or seven boxes and three of them are from this Seattle Goodwill so I'm gonna do kind of a series here to check out my theory and um, get some the results and see how it goes um, so right now, let's just take a look at what did I actually get. Oh, yeah, this is going back a ways, too. This uh, auction ended on December 26th. It's now February 12th, so you can see I've got a backlog. I'm um, pretty busy with a lot of other stuff, so uh, I'm trying to get to these when I can. So anyway, here, this is, uh, I think, 11.4 pounds is what they said it was, um, which should be about, you know, almost 3,000 cards. Uh, maybe like 2800 or something like that if they were all organized which they're not as you can tell so it's probably a lot less than that 2400 or something like that to two to two 2400 um and you can see uh, a bunch of comments um which you'd kind of expect from a jumbled up bag of cards um there are some foils here from the shadowmore era which i do like those there's more foils here um so what else is in here right um you know, will they Will they uh, give us the goods or did they pick it all out? That's definitely part of the thrill of this um, is just 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 looking. There's usually a lot of good pickable stuff. Um, and foils are decent, of course, even if they're not great. Um, older cards, who knows what those are. Um, here at the end, they did show off. There's a Crypt Ghast and a Lightning Bolt So and some more foil stuff. So should be fun as usual. I'm trying to break even a bit here. Um, ended up paying about 138 with 19 in shipping. So let's call it uh, uh, 157.50 is what I paid for it, right? So uh, let's get into it and open the box. Oh, got to turn on the lights. There we go. Here's the box. It's been sitting here for a while had others to go through Let's see the Seattle Goodwill nice and hefty box let's open it up Let's see what we got as usual make sure to subscribe if you're into this like and share and comment down below uh, okay I got some wrap and more wrap so I might end up actually I'm not sure how I'm gonna play this. I can I can pull these out a bit at a time and start, you know, organizing them. And then go through them that way. Or I could try to organize them all at once. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Ah, yeah, they're hard to deal with like this. But they're fun to go through at least. Alright, so let me just move those aside. Start going through them now. And yeah, I'm probably going to get tired of trying to organize these every poll, so I might just go ahead and organize them all and try to look at them. So I want to be surprised if I need anything good. Uh, 
Okay, I finally got them sorted out of that big jumble and into some manageable long boxes here. And it does look like there's uh, just under 3,000. Um, so, let's move those over here and start sorting. Um, tried not to lick too much while I was going through it, so um, we'll see how I did. Um, with what I got here, oh cool. So there are rares at least, even if they're not the greatest rares, I am going to pull those. Uh, I got this set for TCG market price and as usual I'll be deleting anything that's under 90 cents. Um, I'll, you know, stuff like bulk rares I will get something for but uh, they're not going to count towards my total. Uh, I got some Dominaria stuff here so here we go. Mother of Runes, that's a good one. All right, my first money card, if you will. I'll, I'll, I'll start stacking those up here. in that for oh wait hey there's a preordain okay that's decent 368 I'll throw that one over here make a little yeah yeah sure for now hey a lightning bolt an M10 a little nick on the top there different version Even after all the printings, it's still a couple bucks. Got a foil. Here's that foil. Shadowmore Swamp. It's got a little curve to it. Let's see if it can recognize. 70 cents just as a basic. $4 for a foil Shadowmore Swamp. Okay. Keep it out of the light there. There we go. Definitely won't be four dollars when I sell it because it's got condition issue and uh, I'm finding typically, you know, 30% less than this market value is what I can expect for something for like near mint. So a little bit less even for like a played swamp. Running inquiry. There's a couple bucks. I'll throw that there. Bonfire of the Dam, though. Hey, that's a mythic from Avacyn. Two. Well, let's see. What's the Avacyn version? About the same. Two sixty-five for a mythic. The Tarkus Command. Hey, this one's pretty good, I think, actually. Yeah, it's okay. Less than I thought. Two bucks there. Hey, a Battle Screech. Found one of those in the last box I went in. Went through. So, that's decent. Okay. Getting there. Flourishing Defenses from Shadowmore as a foil. That might be decent. Yeah, there's the $4 foil. It's in pretty good condition. 
looks really nice. I love the foiling. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Got fire to it. That's cool. Alright, we'll put that there. Herabaz Druid. A rare should be decent. A couple bucks, sure. Throw that on there. Hey, yeah, Mem Knight. Those are about a buck. Buck fifty, alright. That's, de that's decent. A uh, pre release Hero of Blade Hold. The alternate art. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know if I've seen that art before. Very cool. Yeah, five bucks for that. I think that's the best card we found so far. I'll put that down. More stuff like that, please. Ragged tree speaker, I think he's about a buck. Two bucks, all right. Mix the two buck part and eh, a bunch of glare there. Sure. Lightning bolt though, hold on. Couple bucks there, put it there. A foil wear and tear, that actually might be worth a little bit. Regular wear and tear is probably about 90 cents or a buck. Ah, buck 64. Foil version. Wow, 1773. I feel like that might be a little bit off. Let's see. The mid on a foil, 1558. The low is 1092. Trade in is 971. So we're going to go with the market value, 1773. So far, that's our big winner. It's the kind of card that you probably wouldn't have expected to be that much. I sure didn't. So we'll throw that there. Here's the Crypt Ghast. This was one of the best cards that was actually showing in the listing pictures. So there's that. Oh, now we now we're talking. Fate Stitcher is a good card just on its own. Let's see what it is as a foil. See, look at the, look look how dark that is. The foiling you can just see it in his eyes. Pretty cool. Buck ninety five as a foil three ninety three. Okay. It's decent.
lightning bolt again and a guttural response so that's good one of those and a guttural response one of those a foil megram hmm Ninety-nine cents. We'll keep it. This lightning bolt. I don't think that anyone's gonna want that one. Too bad. Yeah, that one's trash. I'm gonna put it over there. Burning inquiry. There's a little bit too. Those are over here. That glare. Oh wow. Okay, this is a pretty bad full art island from unglued. Yes, I actually guessed it right. That's <laughs> I always get unglued and unhinged backwards. Um boy, that's definitely like heavy play. So maybe get be lucky to get like three, four bucks for that, so or less but there it is I keep it bring inquiry again a couple bucks oh well okay cabal ritual that was a buck and a goal border survival of the fittest that's great I found four of those in one of my last recent ones and it's it's got a little bit of a bend. It's not bent, it's a little scratched. Not a real Exodus one. It is actually the World Championship deck. And yep, yeah, so I scanned it before the other ones I found at like 19, but that was at TCG Mid. This TCG Market, still 1486 for one of those. So, and as I've commented before, it's probably perfectly good to put into a casual commander deck or for your cube so it's a lot less than 90 bucks so that's great I'll take it whoa whoa uh, okay an actual Arabian Nights card a, a Don 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 cannot attack unless opponent has islands in play Don Don is destroyed immediately if at any time you have no islands in play so you see a lot of the reprints of this, but this is an original Arabian Nights. What does that go for? Only 276. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit more. All right. Well, there it is. Another foil of Shadowmore Island. Did we get a? Did we get one of those yet? We did. Yeah. Oh wow, maybe we didn't. 414 for a foil Shadowmore Island. Love the, the lands from Shadowmore. Uh, the islands are some of the best, so very cool. Uh, a foil onslaught island in played condition onslaught foil five bucks minus condition so like you can see it a little cloudy there but it's really not bad and it's not great either yeah yeah look at my back so 
but it's all right. Cabal therapy. That's a little bit there. Put that there. Okay, last little bit here. I got a Kyora on the dual deck, so that's okay. Put that there. And there's a foil mountain from Dragons Atark here. And it probably is not going to hit 90 cents. Nope. But it's a foil mountain. We'll keep it anyway. A Grand Warlord Rada. 47 cents. Not going to count. We just we really just need one 90 cent card to actually break even here. So can we do it? Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. No, that's not going to do it. Uh, an Iron Shaman. No. <laughs> Come on, we need one good rare here. A Death Mist Raptor. It's a mythic. Can that even be 90 cents? It is. <laughs> All right. Oops, we're frozen over here. Death Mist Raptor, dollar sixteen. So we broke even, <laughs> sort of. Yeah, and of course. Um, this is the end of it. Yeah. Once I actually go to sell it, I might be lucky to get 30% of that. So, of course, I actually did not really break even. But numbers-wise, I just hit it. So, um, this collection was... It, it's not a collection. It's a bunch of bulk. And that's what you do sometimes. Just pick through bulk and find some hopefully okay stuff. There was nothing really amazing in this one. Um, still remains to be seen... Uh, was it fully picked by Goodwill or was this just all stuff that got, you know, dumped by people that just didn't want these cards? I think that's probably more likely. Um, so, but I got a couple more lots coming to kind of test that theory a little bit more. Um, and this is how it goes sometimes. You just pick bulk and hope to break even and I'm happy with that. Um, that is it right there. 157.61 on a total paid of 157. So take that for what it is <laughs> uh, anyway thanks for watching make sure to subscribe I'll be back with uh, uh, another couple lots from this same goodwill uh, in the future and thanks for watching